emboldened by Doc, yeah. Horny teenage hippie lovers. Liberated by the grandfather pirate to save her, uh, Languid humid sex and all three levels of the mansion. Yeah, forbidden slave quarters. And uh, during the night, the hippies go down on each other on dirty sleeping bags. Yeah, tongue in groove. Just like the polished. 1807 hardwood floors. Yeah. And uh, like their ecstatic grunts. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Absolute sexual liberation. Echo throughout the haunted palace and, uh, well, less than tantric, old fashioned copulation. Yeah. Uh, like a dragonfly diving into a candle in an antique Danish lantern. Uh, yeah, crazed blaze of crazy freedom. <laughs> yeah. Well, the ABA, but it's got a Revolving muster of about 20 freaks, uh, featuring three permanent residents. The Three Musketeers, King Neptune, yeah, his new girlfriends, Stingray, Sea Urchin. Uh, they dwell in the luxury cottage that's yes, been refurbished from the former slave quarters. Uh, in the expansive back garden, separated from the main house. Yeah, chalet. Mm -hmm. Private, intimate uh, back section of the mansion. It's like uh, absolutely private. Uh, from eyes uh, of the outside world, I mean the walls. 16 feet high. She are oh, 8 feet thick. They had to be that thick back in the day. Chips were shooting cannonballs at them right out of the Charlotte Amelie Bay. Remember, it's like <laughs> less than a minute walk. So, uh, oh, the foliage back here in the garden. Mm -hmm. Birds of paradise. Bougainville. <laughs> All colors of morning glories. Wow. And these tropical flowers. Gift nectar to the Caribbean hummingbirds <laughs> darting around, enjoying the, the luscious garden and the glory of the whole backyard. Flaming red flamboyant tree in full bloom. Three Musketeers, uh, they keep the dog happy. And the mansion repaired enough so that the hippies don't get pneumonia. And, uh, yeah, they hang around with the dog. He's got his favorite beach chair just outside the old slave quarters. Sipping connoisseur rum. <laughs> Distilled right here in St. Thomas and, uh, they empower Doc with a deep sense of belonging. Mm -hmm. A feeling he never had as a professional doctor. Served the island his whole life, dedicated physician, yeah. You can easily find Doc in the backyard, three musketeers in his beloved beach chair. Uh, 1960s, free love. Without any sexual hang-ups, uh, Stingray uh, entertains. 
dark. She, uh, uh, she will uh, mock, uh, blowjob him. I mean, he's never going to get a real erection again. So, uh, and his limp bread turns her on, you know. And uh, and see her, and she'll say, oh, yeah, come into the bedroom because uh, I want to give you a show. And she fingers herself to orgasm. Her legs spread wide open for him to enjoy. Uninhibited. Way beyond convention and tradition, yeah. A visual fantasy, yeah. Well, strictly mock sex because uh, the old fellow's blood vessels absorbed so much rum over so many years that uh, his old skull and crossbones, uh, that flag's not going up the mizzen mast anymore. Mm -mm. Well, Doc cherishes these uh, kisses and cuddles and and sensual, sensual uh, displays, you know, before him, uh, and uh, with a wink from uh, her king, Neptune, uh, urchin, uh, she likes to put her hands on the on the back of Dar uh, Doc's beach chair and then get her neck like right next to his and kind of nuzzle her neck and then what happens is that allows her pendulous uh, young breast to be like, you know, right in his face. <laughs> like that, you know, and, uh, and encourages him. Free play. Play. Play with, play with me. Uh, yeah, well tanned, uh, pendulous breasts. Uh, suck them for fun. Sure, those ripe melons in the sun. Imagine, if you dare, this vision of compassionate free love. Well, well the goose, uh, it's coming in for a dramatic landing. And the seaplane touches down in the water on its giant pontoons, yeah, into the bay of Charlotte Amelie. Into the heart of this picturesque Torafico village, Tennyson, Savo, Sachs, yeah touched down eyes.